Keysight's InfiniVision X-Series oscilloscopes offer a broad range of power-related measurements with the power measurements option. This video is part of a series of several short videos on specific power supply related measurements. Here we show a simplified schematic of a switch mode power supply along with a list of measurements that can be performed on the power supply to fully test and characterize it. In this video demonstration we'll focus on performing the transient response settling time measurement on the DC output when output load conditions suddenly change. For our demonstration, we'll be using Keysight's switch mode power supply demo board. This is the same DUT that we use in many of our hands-on workshops around the world. The first task in making a transient response measurement is to probe the DC output with voltage and current probes. In this case, we'll be using standard 10 to 1 passive voltage probe and an AC-DC clamp-on current probe. Let's start making measurements. I'll begin by doing a default setup so that you can see how to do this measurement from the beginning. Then I'll go into the Analyze menu, which there is a front panel key for that, and then select the Power application. Under the Analysis key, you can see all the measurements that can be performed by this scope to characterize a power supply. And by the way, there are videos on each of these. Right now, we are going to uh, do the transient response measurement. The first menu I should go into is the settings menu. And this is where you need to set your expected low current and your expected high current. So what this measurement does is, is, is it's going to measure the settling time of the output voltage, which in this case is a 12 volt supply, uh, when there is a sudden load change. And we are going to uh, alternate between a load that draws approximately 60 milliamps and a load that draws approximately 215 milliamps. Now these settings are not that critical. The scope will use these values to set the trigger level on either edge so that it can trigger when it flips from one condition to the other. So it's going to set the trigger level in the mid-range of these two values. Next, let's go into the signals menu. Here you can see a diagram similar to what we uh, showed earlier showing you how to connect your probes. So in this case we have a 10 to 1 passive probe connected to the 12 volt DC output and that's on channel 1 and we have a current probe connected to channel 2 measuring the output DC current. And here's where you can set your steady state DC output level and then to what percentage level do you want to measure uh, the time. And we're going to use the default uh, 10%. Now at this point, we're ready to perform a transient response measurement. To perform the transient response test, I press apply. I get an instruction on screen, increase or decrease the output load, then press next. So what you can see here, I'm going to reposition my waveforms so that you can see them more clearly is my load went from a low current level to a high current level. My voltage, 12 volts voltage level, took an immediate dip when it saw the higher load then settled back in. And then the scope automatically measured the time from when the voltage went outside of the 10% measurement band until it, the last time it came in and measures 4.4 nanoseconds. Let's now change our measurement criteria to 5% instead of the default 10%. I'll press apply again. I'll change my load. Press next. Here you can see the load increasing and it measured now 28.1. Um, let's see if I can again Get these waveforms separated so you can see. So this is the point where it went outside of a 5% band and then it rang through that plus and minus 5% band and this was the last time that it came back in. And so there's your delta T, 28.1 nanoseconds. As mentioned at the beginning of this demonstration, this short video was part of a series of several short videos on specific power supply related measurements. 
To learn more about InfiniVision X-Series oscilloscopes and how they can help you test and debug your power supplies, contact your local Keysight authorized distributor and ask for a demonstration. Thank you.